zucchini. I knew there were a lot of things to thank the Lord for making, but how was I to ever tell how long my prayer was taken? From A to Z, from Z to A, and everything between E. I got to yodel yesterday, and now I'm on zucchini. Oh yeah. One week. It took one week for you to make the sun, the moon, the land, the lakes. It only took a week, and you made rivers, mountains, deserts, too. One week, and you had made each creature I could ever find in nature. Just one week, and you made trees, you made the birds, you made the bees. And everything else that I could say, in fact, it only took six days. And after that you rested, so I guess it really goes to show. It's true what they say, so to speak. Six days of work can make one week. What are you planning to do this week? Have a pajama party on Friday at my school. Go somewhere special. Go to church. Uh, have fun. Go to school. Something else. Be sure to include some time for God in your weekly plans. Water. Dear God, I like your waterfalls. I like your water lily. I like your water buffalo, although they look quite silly. Dear God, I like your watercress. I like your watermelon. I like your watery world so much. I got too close and fell in. What kinds of things can you do with water? Take a bath in it, play in it, skate on it. You can wash things. You can drink it. Swim in it and drink. Thank God for water. Weather. Whether it's cold or whether it's hot, whether it's windy or whether it's not, whether it's sleeting or snowing on me, I'm thankful for weather, whatever it be. Whether it's foggy or whether it rains, whether it's even a big hurricane, whether it's perfect or whether it's never, I'm thankful for weather, whatever the weather. Dear God, whether sunny or snowy or raining, wherever, whenever, there's no use complaining, for weather is weather and all thanks to you. And whatever the weather, I think weather is cool. What is your favorite thing to do when it snows? Make snowmen. Play in the snow and have hot chocolate. Hit them with a snowball. What is your favorite thing to do when it rains? Play in the rain, Sean. Jump in puddles. Play in the rain. Ah! Stay inside. Whatever the weather, thank God for weather. Weird. Dear God, I feel a little weird. I'm six years old and have a beard. And I'm a girl. That just won't do. Does that sound kind of weird to you? My little brother's weird as well. He has two flippers and a tail. His favorite food is a bowl of squid. If that's not weird, I don't know what is. My dad takes naps on a block of ice. My mom thinks barking sounds real nice. This family you gave to me is just as weird as weird can be. But that's the way you made us, God. We may sound weird, but that's not odd because every creature is weird like us. Dear God, I'm glad that I'm a walrus. Or, 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 or. What's the weirdest creature you can think of? Octopus. A spider! Thank God for walruses and all the other weird animals God made. Welcome. I want to put a welcome mat outside my heart today, so Jesus knows he's welcome there to come on in and stay. He will not have to knock because my heart is open wide. 
I just hope that he wipes his feet before he comes inside. What a ways you can welcome Jesus into your heart. By telling, praying to him and you can try to keep out the sin, believe in him. Keep your heart wide open so Jesus can fill it with love. The letter W. W -O -O. I thank the Lord for W. It's not the weirdest thing to do. It makes the coolest sound, the greatest sound around. No matter if it's up or down, the W's the best in town. How do you say the W? How do you say the W? In wow and whoop de doo we use the W. You wonder when and where and who, then why not use the W? That's how you say the W. Let's all say the W. In Waffle Watch and What, in Werewolf and Walnut, in World Wide Web and Waterloo, you will include the W. That's how you say 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 the W. What words start with W? Watermelon. Water. Whale. Wave. Wookie. Whisper. Want. Walk. Thank God for everything that starts with W. W, 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 dot. Does anyone know God's internet site? Cause I need to talk to him tonight. An email address would be nice. So I can ask for God's advice. I'd instant message God all day long. If someone would show me how to log on and access God at his URL to tell him all I've got to tell. That's why the internet is great because I just don't have to wait for a connection to God at very high speed to tell him all my wants and needs. And I have got an awful lot, but I'm stuck at www.dot. So how can I talk to God right away? I guess I'll hold my hand and pray. Need to send an instant message to God? Just fold your hands and pray. God's always online. People in the Bible. To the church a widow went. Jesus watched her give two cents. At a wedding one fine time, he turned water into wine. Once a woman at the well heard the words our Lord did tell. Naaman washed his wounds away in the water one fine day. These are the W words I know, for the Bible tells me so. Does your name start with the letter W? How about your friends? Do you know anyone whose name begins with W? Welcome to another wistfully wigged out episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Hello everyone, I am a Giuseppe Zucchini, and because we are talking about the letter W today, I would first like to give you a warm welcome to my kitchen, because both warm and welcome start with the letter W. Thank you, Giuseppe, for welcoming me so warmly to your kitchen. Well, Gianni, the warm welcome was not really for you. You seem to forget your nasty little habit of trying to eat me. Whatever do you mean, Giuseppe? I think we both know the answer to that, Gianni. But today I am not worried about being eaten, because I have decided to do something about it. What, Giuseppe? 
Well, since we're talking about the letter W, I thought it would be fun to do something a little wacky. Wacky? Well. Wacky right here, Gianni. Today, I am going to let you be in charge of the kitchen. You may make whatever it is you like. Why? Because if you make your favorite dish and eat it, then you will not want to waste your time eating poor little Giuseppe. What a wise and wonderful idea, Giuseppe. When do we start? Right now, Gianni. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Gianni Digesto. Welcome to my kitchen. Well done, Gianni. <laughs> now what? Well, Gianni, you are in charge. What would you like to make today? Today we are going to make... Uh... Something that starts... Something that starts uh, with... Uh... With the letter dub. With the letter W, yes. <laughs> and that is... Oh, oh yes. Uh, we are going to make... Um... Whole wheat, watermelon, waffles uh, with uh, whipped cream and uh, Worcestershire sauce. Whole wheat, watermelon, waffles and whipped cream with Worcestershire sauce? Yes, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> well, I said it would be wacky, folks. Giuseppe, please go get a waffle iron and some Worcestershire sauce. Why? Because, you silly little zucchini, today you are my assistant. Wonderful. And what would you be doing while I'm gone, Chef Gianni? I will be... Uh, what will I be doing while you are gone? Perhaps you would like to pray for our food? Oh, I will, I will. Everybody, while Giuseppe is getting the ingredients, we can say a prayer for our food. Let's all say the welcome prayer. You bless us with your wondrous word. Welcome to our table, Lord. Amen. I'm back, Gianni. And while I was gone, I finished making the whole wheat watermelon waffles with whipped cream and Worcestershire sauce. Wow, we, Giuseppe. You are quite a hard-working assistant. Thank you. You are welcome. Well, if you're hungry, why not have a taste? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wonderful. Try some, Giuseppe. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is... What? This is the worst thing I have ever tasted. Why did I ever think you could be in charge of this wacky show? Now everything is switched around, and there's nothing to... Wait a minute. I know what I can eat. What, Giuseppe? How about a nice, big, juicy, pink... Ooh. Gianni! Oh, that's all the time we have for today, folks. See you next time. This has been another woefully wanton episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Tune in next time when Gianni says, Why me? Winter. Winter is my favorite season. Would you like to know the reason? It's not the wintry wind that blows. It's not the piles of whitest snow. It's not the snowmen round and frosty. It's not the fires warm and toasty. It's not sleds or skis. And nope, it's not the whizzing down the slopes. It's not lacing up my skates. It's not walks on frozen lakes. It's not reindeer, it's not lights wound around my house at night, it's not presents wrapped for me and waiting underneath the tree. Those things are nice, but they're not why winter is my favorite time. But you're getting warmer, so I guess that I should let you know. Jesus' birthday is the reason winter is my favorite season. Can you tell me about Jesus' birthday? Angel Gabriel said to Mary that she was going to have a son. Mary said that she didn't have a husband. And then the angel said that God would be her husband. And then she had a baby, but not in any like fancy place, just in a stable because there were, there were not that many places for Mary to stay otherwise with Joseph. This Christmas, remember to sing happy birthday to Jesus. Wow. 
I'm building a wall around my house to keep me in and others out. And when it's built, I'll be alone to have my wall all for my own. And I'll be happy knowing all my stuff is safe inside that wall. I'll never go out, they'll never come in. My wall's the best that's ever been. And now it's done, it's big and wide, and no one can ever come inside. Dear God, what do you think of my wall? Hello, hello, can you hear me at all? Oh no, oh dear, what did I do? I shut everyone out, including you. I'm tearing down the wall to day I wasn't made to live that way. So thank you God for making us all and help us to make a world without walls. Jesus tells us to love one another. Today go outside and tell your neighbors that God loves them. Wish. I wished upon a star last night. I wish that I were taller. I woke up early just to check, but I'm still stuck at smaller. I blew the candles on my cake and made a birthday wish. I wish that bubbles were a whale, but look, she's still a fish. I got the bigger wishbone piece when I gave it a jerk. I wished I were a millionaire, but I don't think it worked. I found a magic looking lamp and rubbed it more and more to try to get three wishes, but all I got was sore. Dear God, I really wish I knew if wishes do come true. But until then, I'm glad that all I need I get from you. Can you tell me something you have wished for? To have the most toys in the whole world. I wish, I wish to be a mermaid. Lots of more wishes. A basketball hoop. I wish I had a pig. But if I tell him, my wish won't come true. You can tell God all of your wishes, hopes, and dreams. God would love to hear from you. Who, what, when, where, why? Who made the world? What will I be when I grow up? Where's Calvary? Why is the universe so big? Which came first, chicken or the egg? Who knows what little toes are for? Why are there no more dinosaurs? When should I pray and where and how? Which question can you answer now? Dear God, there's lots I want to know and you have all the answers, so when I need help, I'll turn to you for all my what, when, where, why, who. Is there any question you'd like to ask God? When will Jesus come back? What order did you make the world in to keep looking down at me and answering my prayer? I love you! God gives us answers in his good word, the Bible. World! God once made the world, and so I know he once made me Oh, only God would Only God could Isn't it good? He made every man, every woman Each boy and each girl He made every place And all people all over the world And when he was done Having his fun Guess what he said? Oh, it's very good God saved with glee and he meant me. Of all the things God made, the most important thing is you. Always remember that God made you and loves you very much. Everybody ready? I said, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Well, if everybody's ready, now's your chance. Get up and do the odd odd dance. Today, let's dance like a whale. Well, you wave your fins. Cause a whale can swim. And you hold your breath. And dive down to the depths. Then you jump in the air and wave your tail. 
breathe through a blowhole, you're a whale! Oh. It's a whale dance! It's a whale dance! It's a whale dance! It's a whale dance! Well, you took a chance and did the whale dance! We're done, so give yourself a hand! Well done, everybody! <laughs> w Animals! Thank you, God, for walruses. Thank you, God, for walruses. For woolly worms and wombats. For woolly worms and wombats. Thank you, God, for warthogs. Thank you, God, for warthogs. For wolves and also wild cats. For wolves and also wild cats. Thanks for water moccasins. Thanks for water moccasins. For wildebeests and warblers. For wildebeests and warblers. God made all these animals. God made all these animals. In case you ever wondered. Pray today for animals that start with W. A good night prayer. It's time to close your eyes for a wonderful surprise. For it's been said that early to bed makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Good night, good night. May angels in their flight watch over you the whole night through until the morning light. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Sleep tight, and don't forget to say your prayers. Nighty-night.